Welcome to round two, Alton Park. I love this place. Probably the most beautiful track on the calendar. The beautiful Cheshire countryside. Love this place, as I said, but I've never really gone well, well around here. So let's aim to change that on the Happy Shopper. Let's go racing. Massive, massive thank you to Pyramid Motorcycle Accessories for coming on board this year as title sponsor and allowing us to bring you these videos for you guys. Please check them out, show them some love and see what they've got in stock for your bike. Lots of Pyramid kit designed and made in the UK as well as some big name brands on offer, so go and check them out. Practice done, P11. I mean, we've got a few more ringers this week, so I'm not too disappointed with that. And I say disappointed. Rich Cooper's 1.8 seconds quicker than anyone else. So it's pretty tight, the rest of it's pretty tight. I'm happy with that, happy enough, had fun. But the, I got severe arm pump like you would not believe. It was the worst arm pump I've had in, well, since I last raced here probably. Even with 105 horsepower, trying to hold onto that thing around there, around here, it's, it's hard work. I'm just, I'm, I'm too tight though. I need to loosen up and let things flow a bit more and let it come. So uh, let, let it come, I'm gonna let it come but it's just like raining for qualifying, which is uh, upset the plan. But then tomorrow the heat races look like they're gonna be wet. So might be a nice little bit of practice. Um, yeah. Take them stickers off the boy. They're the minge out there. They are. Screw it here now. This is where we assess the vehicle. They don't really check too much. They just check the safety of the vehicle rather than the rules and stuff. After the race and qualifying is when they check if you're being cheated or not. So. Enough, I, I cheated. No. Really? No. No, no, we're clean now. <laughs> How's that seat? It's lovely. Is it? It's nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Makes, makes, it a bit, uh, makes it a bit easier to get my feet on the pegs. You're not scrunched up someone's no. tail. It's, it's actually real nice on track, but it's just a bit soft. It's the only thing I don't like. It's a bit soft. Like a like the, the you're, stand, like a, you're like a stiffy. Well, the standard seat, you can feel what's going on. Yeah. With the, with the tire, that is a little bit. A little bit mushy. Yeah. You don't get the. You don't get the. Flaccid. Yeah. Yeah. Did it pass? Passed, mate. Flying, yeah. flying colours. I think. Well, they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't tell me otherwise, so I'm guessing we're all right. Oh, sweet. We must be through. We're not really sure what the weather's doing. It's. Uh, it's dry, but it's about it's about to start raining, or we think it might start. Well, we don't really know what's going to happen, but um, yeah, the, the plan is going to go and do two laps, probably, or, or a couple of a couple of flying laps, just to get a just to get a lap in, and then maybe just come and sit and wait. Because if it doesn't rain, it'll get drier, and then I'll be able to go fast. Um, but if he doesn't do a couple of laps at the beginning and get like a banker in, then you uh, might be stuffed. So I think that's the plan at the minute, but. The plan does keep changing, so... I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put the tie warmers on these wets, so that if, in case it comes in, if it starts raining, um, and it comes in and wants wet tyres, at least they've got a little bit of warmth on them rather than stone cold. What's up, mate? I'm gonna, what, what, what are the times they doing? They're like, they're not very really, I think 48 was the, was the best one. Shite, shite, shite. 
it's clammy. It's a clammy, clammy. day. Hey, mate. Are you? Oh, yeah. Yes, it's slippery. Oh! Well, it's safe to say that didn't go to plan. My fuck up, I messed up. Um, went out, everyone went out really quickly because we didn't know whether it was gonna dry or get drier or wetter and put a banker in. I only did one lap. Um, the guy crashed, someone crashed in front of me and I started seeing tire tracks going into the new tarmac in, uh, on, in Lodge. Um, I thought, you know what, that's enough. I'm, I'm the first to admit I'm rubbish, I'm shite when it comes to uh, riding in the rain and it wasn't even that hard but the the rain flags were waving which means there's a the marshals think there's a significant um, uh, difference in grip from dry so yeah I'm I'm just uh, certainly in my age I've never been good at it and certainly in my age I'm not gonna get any better at it so um, yeah played it safe should put another banker in or another couple of laps in like everyone else did um, but I came in I was 20th and I stayed 20th because no one else went quicker so Start 10th on the grid for Heat Race 2, um, which it looks like it's going to be wet tomorrow, so um, there we go. Right, so we've got the A-team here this weekend as well, got crew chief. Uh, belly pan was going down quite a lot in the dry, and although it's not dry today, it's going to be dry tomorrow, so that is uh, lifting the front up a little bit. Nowhere near as bad as the deck, the case deck out on the other side, but um, yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, Make some minor we'll modifications. Some modifications. Yeah. Some so we'll just cut here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's wet, dry, wet, dry. We've got front wet at the moment. It's only eight laps, so the rear's out, and we've just got the others on warmers just in case. But I mean, it's it's still piss wet, but it's drying quite quickly, and there's bikes out there all the time until we're out. And we're in heat race two, so that means there's another race going on before us. So, uh, don't know what to do. Decisions, decisions. We've got a front wet in, we've got a dry rear, but the track looks wetter now than it does on TV. So my sphincter's just knotting up. Rubbing nose. I don't know what to do. Is it wet or dry? Face. Hard decision, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is it going to go fast? Maybe. What position? At least top three or five. Wet tyre in the front, dry tyre in the rear, which I think is probably the best, the best option because you've got to, um, you, you need the confidence when you're going into the corner. When you're on the way out and you're on the gas and using the rear tyre, you know whether you're on the line or not, so that's when you can get on the gas, so ah, uh, we'll see. So I think someone's gone down on the warm-up lap. Um, it's not Fagan though, so we're all right. Apologies for the onboard camera positioning here, guys, but there's a lack of real estate to play with on the BMW. So here we are lined up on the grid for heat race two. These heat races meant a lot this weekend because there was nearly 50 riders competing for only 40 places on the grid. So a lot at stake. Lights on. And we're go, go, go. And I've got not a bad jump, but I knew I had to be a little bit careful as I reached the pack going into turn one because you can see the dry line it's very, very thin indeed. I ran, actually ran a little bit wide, and what I didn't realise behind me was there was a massive high side, so I had a nice big gap behind me, uh, which obviously I didn't know about because I wasn't looking behind. As you can see, the track is still damp, and you know, we had this first couple of laps, just taking it a bit easy. It took me three quarters of a lap to catch onto the back of Andre Compton. He's on full wet, so I knew I had to take advantage, get past him and these ZO4s working a treat straight up the inside not an issue and uh, we'll just roll over just be a bit careful of those damp patches and the white lines doing a high side into the wall and as you can see just to sort of clarify look how thin this dry line is same lap later caught onto the back of Stephen Taylor I thought right okay I need to make the move because those leaders are getting away but 
who's this? It's Barry Burrell. Another ringer coming to the championship. Good to have Barry along, which ran me wide onto this bit. And uh, just had to be a bit, little bit careful. I was always cautious on that section because of the high side or the, the low side uh, on the warm-up lap. Got back onto the back of Stephen Taylor. And better drive. He's on wets again. So I knew I had to make the move straight up the inside. Lovely. And unfortunately, that was it. Uh, run out of laps. I had superior pace to some of the guys in front. There was a couple of guys still on wet, but the damage is already done, and I wasted too much time playing it cautious. Not the best result, but seventh in the bag. Is he going to be happy? No, he's not going to be happy. Do you want to take the stand apart? Part of the that end? Do you want to take the stand up there, and I'll take the trolley back on? Yes, well done, Fagan. Good job, son. I'll catch you back at the tent. After that solid performance, I came back to the awning to find some senior BMW Motorrad staff who were keen to discuss a World Superbike wildcard and a potential contract alongside Top Rack for next season. Just had a little wobble around in warm up. Didn't, I wasn't going to go out, but then I thought, well, the weather's not looking great and we might need some more wet weather practice. So, a little wobble around. I'm not sure on this seat. I'm not sold on the seat. I, it's really nice, like it's higher ergonomically, much better. I just can't feel what's going on with the rear. Might switch that for the race just to throw stuff in the mix. Ready to, well not ready to race. We've got to put some fuel in. See what the weather's doing. I mean, it's looking, it's looking shite. Bit of a nip in the air as well, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's going to rain again. You think it's going to rain? I'll happily take rain as long as it's rain, not like this. One or two other. One or two other. That's not going to rain. It's not going to rain, is it? No. Mm. John Ketley over there. <laughs> I'm making <Michael> fish. <laughs> John <laughs> Ketley is a weatherman, a weatherman, a weatherman. John Ketley is a weatherman, and so is Michael Fish. <sighs> is that pre race like. like anxiety, tension, nerves, excitement, everything rolled into one. So, yeah, look forward to it. Put that in the it's time to go. Come on, fags, let's have a top 10. So here we are on the grid for the main event. Lots to play for here, lots of uh, big money, big prize money up for grabs. A grand for the winner. And the red lights are on, and they're off, and they're go, go, go. And a pretty decent jump. I was just about about to shove it up the inside of Max, and I had Andre Compton up the inside, so three into one done go then. Should have been a little bit brutal, but to be honest with you, I don't know what was going on, but the bike didn't feel very good at all on these opening laps. I don't know whether the warmers weren't up to temperature properly, or the, the, the uh, pressures weren't right, but I just wasn't feeling comfortable at all. And as you can see here, normally strong on the brakes, Kieran Smith gets me. I'm thinking, man, I know he's good, he's quick. He had leader's pace at Silverstone at the previous round, so I knew he was a good kid to follow. Young, dumb, full of cum. I'm just regretting lifestyle choices here, look. Just edging away, nothing I can do. Regretting my diet, regretting the mixed grow I had the night before. Actually, no, we had a curry. Uh, but as you can see here, Kieran right up the inside of Max. Is he going to make it? Oi! Very close. I thought I could capitalise, but no. Probably best not to uh, put both of us on the floor. Get a good run out of Lodge onto the start finish straight, if you can call it that. And by this point, again, it must have been the tyres because I felt good straight away. And look at that lunge. That is what they call a lunge, my boys and girls. Uh, and I knew, again, the bike felt good straight away, so I right up the inside of Andre Compton. And on the same lap, I've got Max in front of me, great drive out. And these ZO4s, honestly, I don't know why a lot, none of the others, or there's not a lot of others running ZO4s, because, I mean, that was just easy. And I could do this all race long. So next on the list are these two, James and Dom Herbertson. And as you can see, James goes up the inside of Dom, which scuppers his exit for the left. Thank you very much. Cheers, Dom Herbertson. Lovely. So Max, I made a little mistake just on that previous lap, and Max McRae got past me again. And I think this 
could be one of my bolshiest uh, moves ever. Max just playing defensive, but no chance, mate. Around the outside and then puts me on the inside line for the left. Now we've got James Nagy in front, Naj. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, mate. A little look back there. I thought, oh, can I do it? No, that is, that is a ballsy move and one that I thought best not to proceed with. I knew the the gap. The guys in front were sort of gapping me a little bit, and these guys were holding me up. So I knew I needed to make the pass late that lap. My one of my favourite places. Again, super easy up the inside. I managed to pull a second from the pack behind me over the next four laps. Was edging closer to the battle for fifth, even though I probably wasn't going to catch them. And thought I'd done enough for a top ten cashback finish. Now this is the penultimate lap and by this point I've got nothing left in the tank. My arms are pumped up, I cannot feel the front brake lever, I'm not exaggerating here. I just have to ride around and I had nothing left uh, in the tank. And I was chatting to Max after the race and he had a similar issue, as you can see here going into turn one. I was like, can I do it, can I do it? But he brakes super late and then he had the same issue. A bit of arm pump runs wide and then that kind of fucks both of us up. So. And into Cascade, Stephen Taylor comes by us. I'm thinking, oh man, I want that. I want that top 10, I want that prize money, but I just can't not do anything about it. Max runs wide, hitting the, uh, the, the water. So this is it, last lap, last corner, make or break, all or nothing, and I just haven't got it, I've, I haven't got anything. I was thinking about running wide and cutting back in, but who's this, James underneath me, and then Wumtish. Stephen over the bars. That is, uh, that's a naughty high side. They've only got 100 horsepower, but they bite. And I don't know how James manages to stay on the bike because he, um, yeah, he not only manages to stay on the bike, he also manages to uh, prevent any exceeding track limits. So, but yeah, I mean, I've never been happy with 12, but as you can probably tell in a minute, I'm pretty happy. Where was I? Twelve, I think. I'm fucking happy, actually. I'm like, I, I should have been a ten. My arm was so fucking pumped that I couldn't hold on. Fucking hell. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Like my arm pump is so bad. I, th I was catching that group in front. I knew I was. I knew I had the pace to do it, yes. and then make the last two laps. I fuck, just feel that now. Like feel the. That's abusive. I could like it's proper like. Abusive. Oh, I'm gonna hit him. Apart from the arm pump, if I if I can get up the grid a bit more, those guys in front of me, I know like that. What was it? Sixth to. Yeah, yeah. Fifth. Fast laps on the inside eight. Doing the same. Did fast laps going like eight. Yeah, no, I know. I'm catching. I'm catching. Yeah. Same lap time. Was it good? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, all. Thank you. Thank you. I know we don't go race to finish off, but that was fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had gone in turn twice, you could have watched uh, 11. Oh, yeah. Easy as that. Yeah. 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 We're off, mate. Yeah. 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 Thanks for your help. Well done. Bye. Alright, let's do it. Slay. Yeah. Slay. Yeah. I've, never, I've never been happy with 12, but that was fucking cool. And uh, I promised the kids that if we got a top 15, then we got the horses, so here we are. There's only one who can rule the night. <laughs>